Hey guys, take a look at the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to erase your iPhone in two different ways. The first method is if you have access to your actual iPhone, just like I do, you'll be able to do it the simple and the easiest way. And then the other method is if you don't have access, maybe it's on a lock screen or you can't get into your phone, how can you erase it? We're going to show you that method as well. So let's get started. In order to erase the iPhone, first thing is ensure that your, of course, data is backed up because most likely you'll need to transfer over to another phone. In order to do that, you can go into your settings of your iPhone, click on your name or your profile icon here, go to iCloud, and under iCloud Backup, ensure that you do a backup. And now, and it's important to backup your iPhone, like I said, in order to make sure that everything, all of your data transfers over to your new phone when you sign into the same Apple ID account. So click on backup now, give it until it's successfully backed up, which will say the timestamp and you're good to go. Now, the other thing you can do is also back it up in your computer. If you have a newer MacBook with a Finder app or if you have a PC or older MacBook, you can use the iTunes app, which is free to do, which we explain in another video which will leave a link for that as well in the comment section or the description section. Now, after you have backed up your phone it's time to erase it so it's going to be really simple in your settings here you're going to go to general and then we'll go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone and then you will see the option to erase all content and settings and again it will tell you what's going to get erased all of your data on this phone your Apple ID will also get removed and any activation lock as well, which is perfectly fine. And then if you have an eSIM, it also might list your eSIM card if you want to remove your eSIM, which is a phone service. And if you are, for example, trading in, giving it away, or selling your device, you also want to remove the eSIM as well. So you hit continue here. And first of all, it's going to try to back up your data if you haven't backed up. So ensure that this backup completes again if you have a lot of data like photos videos apps that need to be backed up this might take a little bit longer than just one minute that i have listed here so ensure that that process completes and if you want to skip it you can always skip it here but again ensure that is complete here and once it completes it's going to ask you to enter your app id password so you need to put in your app id password for that account that you signed in on this device on in order to remove find my and the activation lock and if you forgot it you can also forget it and reset your account so i'm going to go ahead enter my apple id password here really quick and once you enter your apple id password here you're going to click on turn off here and if you do it sometimes you have to click on a few times but you'll get this message that Again, it will erase everything, and it, the key thing is it cannot be undone. That's why we ensure that we back up our data first. So we'll click on Erase iPhone, and as you can see here, the process has begun. Now, you want to see this process through. What I mean is that you want to wait till you get back to that Hello screen so that ensures that your iPhone has completely erased. And the other thing I recommend is that your phone should at least be 50% or more charged if not connected to a charger because you don't want phone to die during this process and it might not complete successfully so make sure your phone has enough charge and you see this process through now if you have tons of data it might take you a few minutes but if you don't have too much it should take about maybe a minute or two as you can see here it's going to flash on a couple of those apple menu with the loading bar that's completely fine you just keep on waiting till we get to the hello screen which i'm going to show you as this process completes as you can see here we got to third menu for loading just have to be patient and after we do that I'm going to show you the other method if you want to skip to that part on how to do it if you have a passcode or if you can't get into your iPhone how you can also erase it as well so as you can see here it's still going it's completely fine And finally, as you saw here in real time without any skipping here, it took us about maybe two minutes top or less. And we got to this main screen. If I flick it open, it says here, as you can see here, to the screen where it says hello and setting up our language. That means we have successfully erased our iPhone. Now moving on to the second part of this video on 
erasing the second method. All right, for our second method is if you can't get into your phone, maybe it has a passcode or you simply can't get in and it is your phone, this is how you're gonna uh, erase it. So you'll need a computer, like I said, if you have a MacBook, a fifth, if you have a MacBook 10.15 or newer, you can use the Finder app. And if you have an older MacBook or if you have a PC or laptop you need to download itunes which is free to download by just google searching it and we have another video explaining that but this is the same exact method on itunes or if you're using the finder what will happen is you want to go ahead and connect your phone to the computer using the charge cable usually so this is a usb-c because it's an iphone 15 pro but if you have one with the lightning it'll be lightning to usb-c and then or any other method basically you want to be able to connect it and once you're connected here what you'll need to do with your iPhone is put it in the recovery mode so you'll do click on volume up volume down one after another so do volume up volume down and then hold this side button just like that and we're not going to slide to power off we're going to keep on holding it until we get into the recovery mode here so we're going to go ahead and keep on doing this process so I'm holding it here as you can see and as you can see here now since it's connected to my computer this message pops up which is good now on my iPhone here what will happen is this menu will pop up for you and what you can do is a restore which will erase your iPhone so you'll go ahead and click on restore here or if you don't get this menu pop up you'll get something like this or on your finder right you'll get this menu here under location services here and this is just the finder app you'll just click on restore as you'll see it'll reset back to factory setting you'll click on restore All right if you click on restore here it will kick off pretty much the restoration of your iPhone here. Mine's already set up, I don't need to do that, but you go through the process here to restore or basically erase to factory setting, and that's how you erase it on the computer. Same thing with iTunes as well. So that's it for erasing your iPhone in these two methods. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys, see you guys next time.